but definitely I use it for geometry. Okay, so polygon, segment, line, open, closed, regular, and congruent. So here we go, we're gonna go to our map, and you are welcome to abbreviate these things. So you can write R for regular and P for polygon, so feel free. A building shown is the Pentagon in DC. Describe the sides of the figure formed by the red outlines. The figure has how many sides? Do the sides cross each other? No. Is it closed? Yes. So it is a polygon. And in fact, it's a regular polygon because it has equal or congruent sides and congruent angles. Congruent sides have equal length and congruent angles have the same degree. That's how we measure angles in a degree of measurement. Now when we use geometry, that's what we use for angle. And this little circle is what we use for degrees. So remember if it's three degrees, we'd write it like that. We've practiced this before in other times. All right, determine if the polygon appears to be regular or not regular. So we have same sides, but different sides. And see how I put two lines there? That's to show that these are congruent. I have same angles, but I have different angles. So you can see how the number of lines or number of arcs shows you which ones go together. So can it be regular? No doesn't have all the same sides and angles. The top and bottom sides appear longer. Are all six sides of the, are the shape congruent or equal? No, so it is not regular or it is irregular. All right. Polygon is a subcategory of two dimensional figures. A subcategory is a subdivision that has common characteristics with other categories. So we have triangles that can be either regular or not regular, but they all have how many sides? Three. Draw another polygon that is not regular. And just make sure it has three sides. Quadrilaterals, and we're going to add these to your chart on our next video. Quadrilaterals have how many sides? Four. Draw another one that is not regular. Pentagons have how many sides? Five. Notice the pattern here. Try three, quad, four, pent, five. X. Remember these for metric? Octa eight. So, all right, five. One, two, three, four, five. Hexagon. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Octa. There is a heptagon. I just didn't put it in here. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Think octopus with eight flags. Name the polygon. So first off, you name it by the number of sides. And if it's regular or irregular, so first off, how many sides does it have? One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight sides. They appear to all be congruent. Now, on this one, you don't need to measure it. You can eyeball it. They're going to make sure you can really tell if it's not congruent. They are congruent or equal. So it is a regular shape. All right. We are going to do two and six only, and you're going to complete the practice problems. We will jump back in and do some of the hot problems at the start of the next video. So first off, how many sides does it have? 
one, two, three, four. If it has four sides, what do we call it? Don't tell me it's a diamond, that's a kindergarten. Quadrilateral. And the sides appear to be equal, so it is regular. And you can just abbreviate it. Draw a triangle, so how many sides do we need? Three. And we need them to not be the same or not congruent. So one, two, three. These are pretty close, but definitely they're not all equal. You can even show that they're not all equal by showing your lines. This one is different than this one is different than this one. All right, so you're going to complete your practice problems for our lesson one. We're going to start our next video with our hot questions, so please make sure that you have completed 14 and 15 before moving on to the lesson video. If you need some additional practice, you're going to watch the Brain Pop video, or you're going to also use the homework helper and complete the homework. Remember, keys will be posted tomorrow. All right, have a great day, and I'll see you all soon.